Welcome back. So among the authors that we are exploring this year are Canadian author Robert Munch. And here's a story by Robert Munch and illustrator Michael Marchenko, published by Anik Press and Scholastic. So read with permission of Anik Press and Scholastic. This is Angela's Airplane. Angela's father took her to the airport. But when they got there, a terrible thing happened. Angela's father got lost. Angela looked under airplanes and on top of airplanes and beside airplanes, but she couldn't find him any place. So Angela decided to look inside an airplane. She saw one with an open door and she climbed up the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, right to the top. Her father was not there and neither was anyone else. Now, Angela had never been in an airplane before. In the front, there was a seat that had lots of buttons all around it. Angela loved to push buttons. So she walked up to the front, sat down in the seat, and said to herself, It's okay if I push just one button. Don't you think it's okay if I push just one button? Oh, yes, it's okay. Yes, 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 yes. And then she slowly pressed the bright red button. Right away, the door closed. Angela said, It's okay if I push just one more button. I mean, don't you think it's okay if I push just one more button? Oh, yes, it's okay. Yes, 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 yes. And slowly, she pushed the yellow button. Right away, the lights came on. Angela said, it's okay if I push just one more button. Don't you think it's okay if I push just one more button? Oh, yes, it's okay. Yes, 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 yes. And she pushed the green button. And right away, the motor came on. Vroom! Angela said, yikes! And pushed all the buttons at once. The airplane took off and went right up into the air. When Angela looked out the window... She saw that she was very high up in the sky. She didn't know how to get down. But the only thing to do was to push one more button. So she slowly pushed the black button. It was the radio button. A voice came on the radio and said, Bring back that airplane, you thief, you! Angela said, my name is Angela. I am five years old and I don't know how to fly airplanes. Oh dear, said the voice. What a mess. Okay, listen carefully, Angela. Take the steering wheel and turn it to the left. Angela turned the wheel, and very slowly the airplane went in a big circle and came back right over the airport. Okay, said the voice. Now, pull back on the wheel. Angela pulled back on the wheel. And the airplane slowly went down to the runway. It hit once and bounced. It hit again and bounced. And then one wing scraped the ground. And right away the whole plane smashed and broke into little pieces. Angela was left sitting on the ground. And she didn't even have a scratch. All sorts of cars and trucks came speeding out of the terminal. There were police cars, ambulances, 
fire trucks, and buses. And all sorts of people came running, but in front of everybody was Angela's father. He picked her up and said, Angela, are you all right? Yes, said Angela. Oh, Angela, he said, the airplane is not all right. It is in very small pieces. I know, said Angela. It was a mistake. Well, Angela, said her father, promise me you will never fly another airplane. I promise, said Angela. Are you sure, said her father. Angela said very loudly, I promise, I promise, I promise. Angela did not fly an airplane for a very long time. But when she grew up, she didn't become a doctor. She didn't become a truck driver. She didn't become a secretary and she didn't become a nurse. She became an airplane pilot. The end. That was Angela's Airplane by Robert Munch and Michael Marchenko. Read thanks to Anna Press and Scholastic.